Hello students, welcome to chemistry class. In our last class, we looked at carbon 4 oxide. In today's class, we're going to look at carbon 2 oxide. Remember that carbon 2 oxide is otherwise called carbon monoxide. That is CO. Your presenter remains EB Christian. Occurrence of carbon 2 oxide. Carbon 2 oxide is found in the atmosphere in trace amount as impurities. Areas with high industrial activities and vehicles that release the gas into the air has more percentage of the gas in the in the atmosphere. Carbon 2 oxide is dangerous when inhaled. Okay, good. Now, preparation of CO, that is carbon 2 oxide. Carbon 2 oxide is prepared by passing carbon 4 oxide over red hot carbon. The reaction is a reduction reaction. On passage, the unreduced carbon dioxide is removed using concentrated sodium hydroxide. So you can see the reaction here. This CO2 gas, carbon 4 oxide, reacting with red hot carbon. Now, it's carbon here is cool. That is a, a solid carbon to give you two molecules of carbon monoxide. Other methods of preparing carbon 2 oxide. Carbon 2 oxide can also be prepared by incomplete combustion of carbon compounds like octane found in petroleum. When you hear the word combustion, it means burning of substance in oxygen. Okay, good. So here we have two molecules of C2H, sorry, two molecules of C8H18, that is octane. When combined with 17 molecules of oxygen, it gives you 16 molecules of carbon monoxide and 18 molecules of water all right carbon monoxide can also be prepared by dehydration of methanoic acid and ethan dioic acid using sulfuric acid as a dehydrating agent now dehydration means removal of water so this formula here h c o o h is what we call methanoic acid so in the presence of sulfuric acid as the dehydrating agent the methanoic acid is dehydrated by removal of water now this o and this h combines with this h to give you h2o that is water and what's left is co which is this you see here and that is carbon 2 oxide in the second reaction we have cooh in two places in the presence of the same dehydrating agent sulfuric acid you can see that the H down and then the OH here combines together to give you H2O, which is water, liquid given off. Now, if you remove the uh, OH here, what is left there is only CO, which is CO you're seeing here. This is CO gas you're seeing here. And then the down part of it, what is left, if you remove the H, is CO2, which is the carbon 4 oxide gas you're seeing there. So that is another method of preparing carbon monoxide in the laboratory all right physical properties of carbon monoxide carbon 2 oxide is a colorless tasteless and odorless gas it is slightly less dense than air it does not dissolve in water but soluble in ammonical copper 2 chloride it has no effects on litmus now let's look at the chemical properties of carbon 2 oxide Carbon 2 oxide reduces some oxides of metal to metal and itself oxidizes to carbon 4 oxide. So when lead 2 oxide solid reacts with carbon 2 oxide, it gives you lead metal and carbon 4 oxide is liberated. So you see that this is lead oxide. There is oxygen attached to the lead here. But in this case, there's only lead here. So the oxygen here has been removed. So a reaction involving removal of oxygen is called reduction. So when you remove the oxygen here, you attach it to this carbon CO here, and that gives you CO2. So you see that carbon 2 oxide has succeeded in reducing lead oxide to lead metal. All right. It also reduces oxides of non-metal to non-metal and itself oxidizes to carbon 4 oxide. You can see this. This is iodine oxide combining with copper with combining with the carbon 2 oxide to give you lead so to give you iron iodine molecule and carbon for oxide so the reaction is that the oxygen here has been removed giving you ordinary 
iodine molecule. The same thing happens with water, combining with carbon four oxide to give you hydrogen gas and carbon four oxide. It burns in oxygen with a faint blue flame to yield carbon dioxide. So you can see the reaction. Two molecules of carbon two oxide combined with oxygen gas to give you carbon four oxide. So that is the chemical property of carbon monoxide. And let's look at the test for carbon two oxide. The test for carbon two oxide is that it burns with a blue flame and turns lime water milky after burning. What are the uses? Due to its poisonous nature, carbon two oxide has limited use. However, it is used for extraction of metals from their ores. Two, it constitutes essential component of gaseous fuels such as water gas and producer gas. Thanks for watching.